Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. A, a UFO, basically. I don't know what else you want to call it. It's a ship. It's a craft sitting on a launch platform. Now, the first thing that you would notice here is that you have this ridge looks normal and natural right up into this point and you can see see this unnatural point right here that's this not sure what that structure is but then this completely unnatural and when you look in and you zoom at this thing there's no doubt about this whatsoever this looks almost exactly like the craft that um i think it was called an alkesh in Stargate, I mean literally the exact same shape. And here's the kicker on this one. I'm going to measure it for you guys. Now remember the incident with the Nimitz and the description of the Tic Tac, the white, solid white Tic Tac craft? I know this shape is a little different, but the measurement is right on the money for what they described. 34 feet long. 10.38 meters. That is right in the envelope of what the pilots of the F-18s said they saw. This is a, a stunning, stunning find. And I apologize that I didn't see this sooner. He found this a long time ago. Months ago, I think. And just with so many things going on, um, I'm sorry that I don't get to look at every find that ends up in the comments, a lot of it gets tossed into the spam folder, and it's hundreds and hundreds of comments a day. Getting a big channel is one of those things, be careful what you wish for. And I don't even have that big of a channel. I've got 111,000 subs, which is bigger than some, but there's guys out there that have, you know, hundreds and thousands more and millions. But this one he just absolutely nailed. I mean, and sticking out like a sore thumb. And here's the, here's the kicker. I look at Antarctica a lot. I found stuff all around here and completely missed that. That's the, and that's the thing about it. Antarctica is a huge place. And there is so much high detailed, 
high res imagery to go through, even with what I've found, it's just a tiny slice of what's really out there. Now, his most recent find, this is beyond cool. This guy really needs a lot more subs because this is, now this is an area I kind of neglected to be truthful, but the last time I looked at this area, this must be some new high res stuff that they weren't showing before. Now, what he found here was this, I don't know how to describe it to be very truthful. It is literally a perfect thin, wafer thin square platform right here. And there's some type of brownish, orange, organic material behind it. Now, the trick with this one is getting the perspective right. Is I mean, are we looking at it like right now we're looking at it with north on our left facing east? Should we be looking at it like this? Should we be looking at it like this? That's the hard thing with some of these finds. I really honestly believe the proper perspective on this is about here if I've done this right because of other finds that are in the region and how they appear let me get this dialed in right okay this is the proper perspective right here whatever this is it's vertical to this cliff now the reason I say this in his last video he goes to two other sites. Well, at this site, there's some other things that he doesn't see, or at least if he sees them, he doesn't talk about them. And I'd like to show those things now. Remember the craft that he found that was sitting on the platform? Here's another identical one parked right down here in the shadow. And you can look in the shape, and it's almost the same. And once again, let's get out our measuring tool. Remember how big the other one was? 10.99 meters. This thing is exactly the same size as the one that he found on the platform. It's just sitting in shadow. So this guy has found two perfect, pristine, white Tic Tac craft in two videos. I mean, that's, that's incredible. It's, it took me hundreds of videos to find, to find those things. I found three or four, but uh, just amazing, amazing work. Now, there's also other things that, just in this one area that I want to show you, and one of them is straight up frightening. Now, it's hard to see. And once again, Hypnotech, if you're out there, I'll be very honest with you, screen size and screen res is everything. There are things that, I have a laptop, and I can go to my laptop, open up Google Earth Pro and my account, and I don't see the things that I see with my big 24-inch Lenovo. Now, right here, and this is going to be brutal to try to show you guys because of the lighting. I'm going to try to turn it down. Do you see this thing right here on the left, this white structure? There's a cave here. And I'm going to try to do the best I can. This, guys, this is the carving of a face, of a human face right here and head. There are two eyes, there's a mouth, a nose. It's perfect. There's some type of stepway behind it to another entry. But this is literally, it's so hard to see. But believe me, if I could buy everybody a 24-inch all-in-one or a 27-inch all-in-one, I would do it because it is game-changing with the imagery. Just because of the size of the screen. And there's all sorts of stuff right around here. Not sure what that is or what that is, but even zooming out farther. Now remember, just in this one area, we have three things now. Let me show you something else. 
Remember I showed a couple videos ago these perfectly engineered tunnels into the side of the mountain? Well, here's two more. One here and one here. And I'll measure these for you guys. The one that we measured a week or two ago, if I want to remember right, it was 30 feet wide and 50 feet tall. Let's see how big this one is. 39 feet wide. And the opening, the dark part of the opening, is only about 33 feet tall. So this one's not as tall as the other one. And so based on that, this looks like right here an opening meant for on foot. And this one is for craft. And there is a ton of stuff. Like right here, this looks like the nose cone of something, depending on how you look at it. But whatever it is, and Hypnotech mentions this too in a couple of his videos, or at least one for sure, sometimes you find things and you can't put into words what you're looking at. You know it's not natural. You know it's not normal. But to describe it to your audience, the words just don't come. You don't have a good word for it. That's why sometimes I try to spend a lot of time turning things around and looking at them and asking my audience, what do you think? Is this something that when it snows, do you look out your window and see? And like I said, we're still at this one site. This was the original find right here. And if I remember right, and I am working from memory here, there was one other thing I wanted to show. Oh yeah, there's some very weird shadow play going on down here. Here it is. Tell me that doesn't look like two individuals standing next to each other, or is this some kind of, I hate to say it, but I'm just going to have to say it. it, looks like flying fish animal, where you have the body here and the two wings up. Let me see if I can turn the light back up here. And once again, I'll give you guys the the links for this, the not the links, but the locations, Google Earth Pro. And once again, let me reiterate, the original find at this location was Hypnotech, and so was the UFO on the platform. I mean, what is this? Seriously, what, what in the world could this possibly be? Natural. What natural formation would cause this? I've seen lots of tricks of light. I, I have no idea, to be very honest. But once again, this guy didn't know it, but he found two identical alien craft. Just amazing work. And I could go on and on and on with different stuff in the region, but... 14 minutes, you know, this is this is what makes this so hard and why I have asked for so many people to get eyes on here. Because even with me doing it almost full time, I miss a ton of stuff. And this is right next to it. And, well, I won't even get into it because, like I said, we could be here all night. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, and especially, if you would, Hypnotech, just like it sounds, H-Y-P-N-O-T-E-C-H. And let's get this guy some subs and get this guy some views. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. 
if you'd like to join us over there. It's only one US dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year. And no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? Sort of?